the urinary bladder will develop from the urogenital sinus part of the divided cloaca. For this purpose, it will be useful to use a dorsal view, posterior view. We would see the urogenital sinus with the allantois. Then the mesonephric duct joining dorsally, or laterally and dorsally the wall of the uh, urogenital sinus. The ureteric butt, I will use different color for this because these will become independent later on. So we could still track the structures. So the mesonephric duct, the ureteric butt, and the rest of the original sinus, the superior part, the inferior part. So this is the allantois. That's the original sinus. Sorry. The original sinus. Receiving the mesonephric duct. Or Wolfian duct, which has this ureteric butt as a side branch. Later on, the proportions will change with a differential growth of these various structures. So it will look like that. The allantois will partly obliterate. The mesonephric duct will enter the future urinary, urinary bladder, but this ureteric butt will become independent as this branching side will be incorporated into the growing wall of the uh, bladder. Also, the ureter will become longer, and here the, the renal pelvis and the metanephrogenic blastema will produce the, the, f the, the kidney. Also, this will be on the right side, this will be on the left side, from the posterior view, a symmetrical situation. And here the rest of the urinary bladder with the proximal urethra. So this whole part will become incorporated into the uh, dorsal wall of the bladder. This is the obliterating allantois. It will become a structure called the uracus that con will connect the apex of the bladder with the umbilicus. This is the mesonephric duct. This is the posterior wall of the urinary bladder. This is the ureter, the kidney. the metanephros actually, right? And the urethra. Now the 
uh, kidney uh, originates in the sacral region, but finally it will it will ascend into the lumbar region. So the kidneys go up. However, the mesonephric ducts will go down because uh, they will be following the descend the descending testicles that will descend into the inguinal canal that will be formed they will move to scrotum so that this will be followed by the excretory passages of the genital system and that's what the mesonephric duct will become so we have a mutual movement of these two structures and that will result in the following uh, a, a configuration of the organs the dorsal wall of the bladder we got the ureter the right ureter the left ureter and the the rest of the blood urinary bladder and he, here already we got the prostatic urethra right and that's where the mesonephric duct will join but we call it now the ejaculatory duct because here it will differentiate into the seminal vesicles Then it goes upwards and then it the ductus deferens come uh, comes uh, into the inguinal canal also on the other side the seminal vesicles as accessory glands So the ureter carries the blood from the kidney, which is somewhere up in the lumbar region. This will be the ductus deferens. This is the seminal vesicle. An accessory gland that actually grows from the wall of the ductus deferens, and the common part, short part, is the ejaculatory duct. Which enters, or which opens into the prostatic urethra. Right, but where is the prostate? The prostate uh, is a series of uh, glands that proliferate from the wall of the prostatic urethra into the surrounding mesenchyma. So here are the proliferating, sorry. prostatic glands so the glands itself the prostatic glands itself are of endodermal origin because it's still the the material from the original urogenital sinus which was the the frontal part or the anterior part of the uh, former cloaca but the mesen but the mesenchyma into which the glands are proliferating they will Differentiate, differentiate into the uh, fibromuscular stroma of the prostatic 
of the prostate gland as such because the prostate gland ha is made of like 30 to 50 uh, prostatic glands and that's uh, to illustrate their embryonic origin okay we got all the parts described so we remember that ur urinary bladder uh, is made is derived from the original sinus and partly the allantois this will be the apex of the bladder